Where's that? Mm. Well, it was in a cave, wasn't it? Mm. Then it's missing one. No, no, I don't think it was in a cave, no. I'll actually know canonically how long has it been. Uh, Adam is not here. Hmm. Rana seems. Someone says she's having a sweet dream, but that doesn't sound right. A blurry image appears in the bubble that envelops you. You are in trail. Why the image? You are in a forest where everything looks massive and serene. You feel com very comfortable here. Rays of sunshine peek through the sparkling gold leaves. The grass is tall as you swaying quietly all around, gently caressing your hands as you walk by. You hear the sound of distress crying, of distress crying amid the musical melody of the wind blowing through the trees and flowing water. Following the sound, you find a small girl. She looks like she has worn herself out from crying and falling asleep in the meadow. You walk up to her and softly sing a song that can calm all beings. What's going on? Paimon's glad you're okay. Paimon was so worried, you look like you were going to pass out. There you you are all here. Oh, you freaked Pamo out? Well, oh, oh, I'm sure it's in the same before. Yes, you are a Nara. Why are you always spooking people like that? You say go well, first, white floating. It's Pamo, not a white floating. Arana was in the ground to preserve our Kalari powers. This way, Narana won't wither. But PG is still needed for her to be strong again. Mm. Okay, Pokemon gets it. Got it. By the way, what just happened to Ignis? Explain the vision you saw. That should be Arona's memory. Memory? Oh, let uh, Arona explain. Memories and dreams are Arona's power. Most, your most precious thing. With memories and dreams, our Nara can use our uh, Kalari to help Nara and our Nara in need of help. So Nara can sense the memories in our uh, Kalari. And our Ignis is one of them. Sounds like our Kalari is something very important. Uh, it was you who used our Kalari to protect Yotan in the cave, right? Yes, it was a runner. Nara Yotan, Nara Kavos, and Nara Sudabe are all friends, so I want to protect them. Uh, we hang out in the forest a lot, so I want to thought them, thought them things about the forest and language of the plains. They are very good friends, just like Narana. About the missing kids? Right, before Yotan, Kavos, and Sudabe were missing too, but they were brought back to the village later. Was that also you? Yes, I really noticed that some bad Nara and Nara Valuka taking them. 
So I'm gonna help Narcavus and Narasudabe run back when the Benara weren't looking. Let's see, a body has lost memories. Arana made little Nara sleep and dream. They remove the bad stuff in their dreams. So when they grow, just like saplings growing into big trees, they won't become bad. Otherwise, little Nara will be afraid. If always afraid, they will believe in the power of fear and grow up to be scary bad Nara. They are Arana's friends, so Arana didn't want them to become bad Nara. Makes sense, let's hope so. About the bad Nara. Uh, Arana will never forgive them. The Benara aren't children of the forge. They bring a group of Benara Voluka with them. There is a strange Nara Varana Nara in Vimara village. He is not a child of the forge, but a child of snow. He looks like a good Nara. He often hangs around with the little Nara and they talk about him too. That's why Arana thinks he's good, but Arana has also seen him take, talking to Ben Nara about Aranara. In Vimara village, is he with the Futui? Someone out to get the kids? How could this be? Uh, Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. People in Vimara village should treat each other like family. Not to mention that it was that person who caused Rana to become like this. We must get the bad guy. We'll get that person. Right. We'll get the person no matter what. Promise me, Narayotan Sepaimon. Promise that we'll punish the Benara so Narayotan, Narakaos, and Narasube will not be afraid so that they will grow up like tree sprouts into big, healthy Nara. Alright. Narana is all grown up now, so she can't see Arana anymore. But that's okay, Arwana is happy knowing she's fine. I haven't played with Narwana for a long time. Many suns have risen and set, and many moons have passed up here in the sky. Many fruits grew, then returned to the land. Narwana grew taller and taller. She was first about Arwana's height, and then the size of a small tree. That was when she stopped playing with Arwana. Arana told her many stories about the forest. Star shrooms are the reflection of stars from the sky. Seeing the Ilot Pala lotus bloom means you'll be lucky until next moonrise. Arana will teach Nara Yotan and his friends the same. Arana hopes they will grow up fine like Narana. But they shouldn't. Not ever run into my runner like Rana did. Do they forget the encounters when they grow up, just like Rana? Noriyotan, Narcavus, and Narsudabel will also grow up. It's okay if they forget, because at the end, the forest will remember. Nothing will be lost. The forest will remember. No good thing ever fades away, and all pains will become the nourishment of something beautiful. Arana, Nara Ignus, Paimon. Arama, Arana hasn't seen you for quite a while. Where's the wall, Paimon? Come on, Paimon doesn't freak out that easy. Are you going to get us to celebrate the festival sour at Panarana? Yes, it's red now. And everyone's waiting for Nara Ignus and Paimon. Hooray, festival sour. Arana, aren't you coming with us? Arana will not go. If Arana is away for too long, Arara Kalari will, won't hold up and Arana will be in danger. So, no festival for Arana. Oh. It's okay, as long as Arana is in Paimon are happy, so will Arana, Arama, and everyone at Panara. Yeah, the Bija needs you, Arana. Arana will be ready by then. Oh, this is for you, Nara Ignus. Power. Yes, please take good care of her. I'll keep it safe. Thank you, Nara Ignus. Let's get back then. Nara Ignus and Parma. Uh, let's go. See you later, Arana. See you later.
We're back, Karaja. Finally, everyone's been waiting. The Jotsawa has started, but it's not in full swing yet since our friends didn't get back till now. There are so many Aranara here. Here, prepare the beach once the festival is over. As far as I know, yes. It's been a real grind adventure in life. This, huh? Let's just enjoy the footsteps right now. Yes, you must enjoy yourselves during the same time. Yes, I'll see you later. Well, for joy in life, hard work and go to wish. Oh. oh, do I have to talk to all of them? I expected a cutscene. Ah, we can. The ranking is the final. Don't worry, the baddies that made Vanna run sick won't be coming back. Thank you, Narangus and Paimon, for helping our Rican protect Panorana. Our Rican has flowers for you. Take flowers, friends of our Rican. More flowers. Ah. Oh, I didn't remember I had flowers from others. Special Tsar feels familiar, and it's why Flory and Golden Nara. It's an Nara friend and an Nara friend's friend. Hope we will have fun during Special Tsar. Our friend's friend is also our friend. Golden Nara and White Flory are both our Agaro's friend. Okay. So, so lovely, you know, if you enjoy. Special and our friends uh, might leave. The part we remember, the part we remember, but I pray that no wind shall blow away our happiness. That there shall be rain to wet the earth into and our friends a while longer. Innocent and Paimo, thank you for your help. Thanks to your help, the Varuna contraption is now in good shape, and so is the Ashvan Grell. All Aranara have returned to Vanarana for the celebration of the festival of Sava, like birds returning to the nests. Uh, those rain though, uh, Aranaras I meet around, would they show up here? There could be more or less, depending on how many I found. Uh, the angry rain becomes gentle rain, and Arana Kula finally gets to take care of the garden, growing viparius, happy viparius. Happy viparius make happy lanterns, and happy lanterns light the happy festival itself. Oh yeah, good. I could have made it more of those as well. Nara Inus Paimo, the garden is doing great now. The official Tsawa was a blast. Thank for thanks you to your help with healing the Varuna contraption and bringing Arana Kula back. All's well that looks well. Speaking of which, I'm quite curious about something. What can be curious about? Uh, why is Nara Varuna named Nara Varuna? <coughs> uh, it's because the Nara helped us heal the Varuna contraption. Then what's her real name? Uh, no idea, Nara never told us her real name. I see. Nara Ignus has also helped a lot. Nara Ignus is a brave Nara and has overcome many difficulties. That we can gather here together and fetch what sound makes me very happy. We have something for Nara Ignis. This is how our Nara say thank you. Nara Ignis will like it, and so will Paimon. 
Here, this is here is an Arnara flower for brave Nara in Paimon. Arnara also has a flower. Arakara also has a flower. It's not a Viparius, but still. It's for Nara Ignus in Paimon. Nara Ignus Paimon, thanks for everything you did for the power. We are Nara will never forget our friends. Time to go. Uh, no, I don't have to talk to you guys. I, uh, it's just not true or random. They just sing. The rainbow lost stones like you. Five more in our now. But it's an art scene, yeah? I'm alright, I guess. Hey, please. I was not first again, let me borrow your ears or something like that. I think you may lay me your ears. Is that how it's supposed to be? Anyway, let's meet again later. Here. In Spymon, we meet again. You look very happy, Raja. Oh, indeed I am. Very happy to see Varnorana so lively, with so many Aranara having returned home. I never thought that I'd be able to participate in festival itself in person. Having participated in it before, the stories say that I did participate. It was a long, long time ago. I, Aramu. I, Aramu Kunda, Arad. Na Araji, many of us are Nara celebrating festival itself together with Nara Varuna. It was a very difficult time, but we still left and sang together during festival itself. Uh, I like this story very much. Uh, then you did participate, didn't you? Oh, I did participate in the stories, but I no longer remember that. Those stories were all things that Arana and the others told me later. Mm, you're starting to sound a lot like a grandpa. Maybe you're just getting too old and can remember clearly. Perhaps this is for the best. Anyway, Nara Ignus Paimon will take this. It's a flower. Yes, I hope that this flower will follow you in your future travels. I'll accept it. Uh, Nara time is much more precious than our Nara time. So I will not keep you from enjoying yourselves. Go look for our Akavi later. He is also preparing for a festival itself ceremony. Uh, let me change the batteries because I think this one is getting weak. Yeah, yeah. That one was getting bigger. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. Uh, another friend, Arama Torres, has told many stories of you. You are another full of courage and wisdom. Uh, come challenge Arisha's riddles. Oh, uh, sure. Good, Nara. Arisha's riddles are tasty. But, uh, not now. Round and red. And uh, good to eat. It hangs on a tree, most moist and sweet. Oh, I have to give you a tomato. I don't have an apple. Ah. This one's taste is easy. Uh, there are more delicious riddles to follow, so come again. They exist in dreams in no other place. Uh, a must for festival would solve us pace. Uh, I think I'll pay attention. Are those those only happy in dreams? This is easy too. Arnara all know it. Gunara is Arnara's friend and literally knows it. Let me give you one more riddle. Uh, this one's difficult. Even a Raja wouldn't know it. There are stars in the sky and it is on the land. Stars cannot see the sun. 
and it doesn't love the sun either. It didn't make much sense, but I'm talking about one of those. Good Nara, all correct. Good Nara is a clever Nara. Clever Nara is smarter than a Raja. Would Nara be willing, willing to be Arisha's friend? Of course. Yes, flowers, flower to you. Uh, Arisha will, will think of more good reels. Come play with Arisha King friend. Can I play already? Which also will have Arisha taste riddles, which are also sweet and fragrant. I heard that Nara likes sweet and fragrant things, so you'll love this sweet and fragrant facial style, right? Something. Okay, let's see. Time to go! Ah, damn. My brothers have all done some self reflection. This. The special salva is a happy occasion, so our Pakati shouldn't get mad. That's right, our Pakati don't get mad. Happy occasions should be celebrated with the taste of happiness. It's time to show off the results of our cooking training. I have been ready for a long while. Weren't they forbidden to cook in here? Yeah, it's the special salva feast. I must be waiting for this. Best not to get our hopes too high. Water from Vanarana is the best water and makes the best soup. Nara will love it for sure. I shall deliver the taste of happiness to Nara, Ignus, and Paimo and let them teach my brothers. It's the only way to make food Nara will like. That's how guests should be treated. Would you mind teaching them to cook? Sure. They are all ready, we can start now. Well, so... Uh, the mushroom has been ready for a while now. My super fragrant had mushroom. But I'm not very good at gauging the heat, so please, come take a look, Naringus. Fire is kind of dangerous to our Nara, so let's go help control it. I just flamed. With these two. What did I do? Yes, we'll have a supreme delicacy. You can bet on that. Uh, need more of that taste of happiness. Well, that's enough. No, 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 I forgot to mention that we must make Nara happy with food. So, five months, right? I'll add less of it. There you go, that should do. Just that. I thought we'll have to cook something. Maybe mixing all the recipes. The best water, but there's nothing left of it after my practice runs. Wouldn't our Ignis mind getting some water from the north of Vanarana for Arapas? Well, guess we are help out. Uh, let's see if I have to run as well. Don't you worry, our Ignis. Our fella has prepared the arrival fresh fruits for the festival. Our father Shumu's fetch, huh? Let's go check some elsewhere. Uh, from north? Is it north? They shall have this. Huh. Maybe set entrance. Oh, yeah, there must be another one here. Not a painting. Hmm. No, there are more. Let's check this one. Oh, it's you, Colinara. Nara friend, come play with Ara Lila. Ara Nishat is very weak. Don't play with him. Ara Lila. Is lost to our Nishat last time, so Ariel is weaker. Fine, let's not bother about the sun and moon. Now, our friend is here, so let's play with our friend. Let's compete to see who is stronger. Fine, let's compete. Our Nishat is not scared. Our Lila hides first, then our friend comes to search. 
After that, our only shot will hide and our friend will search. The one who gets found first loses. Uh, do you want to play in our frame? Let's try right away if you're ready. Okay, let's. Yeah, I'll be already in shot this time. On one. Ah, Arlie likes weaker. Nora Goldenara is indeed impressive to see through it so quickly. Goldenara is impressive, but it's mainly because Arlie really is too weak. Our Nishan will not be found so quickly. Just watch. Shaw was also found quickly, as weak as our Lila. Uh, all weak, only Golinar is strong. This is bad. We must train our Rakalari with very strong our Rakalari, and our friend won't be able to find me. I don't think that's how we wo this works. Are you afraid of losing? There is no need to care about winning or losing when playing games. Even though I lost, I have fun. Golinaro is a good friend after all. Are our friend wins? Awesome, please take our flowers. Thank you, Nara. Good Nara, you are a good friend. Time to go! Fashion ball, fun, main customers, main sales, no means good sale. Let's buy stuff for. What? I didn't pay attention. You are not selling now? What's for sale? The big sale now is happening for Fashion Ball. Our friend would like some happiness. What is happiness? Happiness cannot be seen or touched, but fills the panorama during Fashion Ball. I understand. The happiness is brought by Nara friend. Time to go. Yeah, I was going to buy mushrooms to <laughs> level to up. Oh, like. <laughs> Time to go. Damn. This one. I never had to find me up here. Follow the wind. No, we don't have a name. How nostalgic. It's been hundreds of years since I last saw such a thing. Hundreds of years? The first one that doesn't talk about trees aging. Uh, it's thanks to you that I could see Vanarana Dreamscape again. Oh, so you're actually that old? This is the first time I heard Vanarana use the word years. Is that so? Maybe it's because I've absorbed more memories and knowledge. Uh, in Vanarana's Dreamscape, there's no day and night, everything is tranquil and peaceful. We have long lifespans too. So, we have very little concept of time. We measure the passage of time by the growth of trees, the blooming of flowers, the rising of the moon, and so on. If we are going to have festival Tsawa, we should wear the bija soon, right? Yeah, speaking of which, what is a bija? Araja and Roman didn't explain much about it before. 
You have become friends with Anorana, so you should have heard about the principles of the Arakalari. Do you know of it? Arana mentioned the power of memory. Arana, and uh, how nostalgic. I hope Arana is alright. A little hot headed, yes, but I doubt you could have been told about this if the one hadn't considered you a friend. Nisha is a fruit made from extracted dreams and memories. The crystallization of all that is precious to us, Arnorana. Uh, it is a fruit, but it's also a seed of hope. Nisha can help to realize dreams, so long as these dreams are meant to help others. I'm sure that you and other Arnorana preparing this vision do have such wishes, yes? We wish to save Run. Yes, then there is no problem. Since Narayana is a friend of Anor to Anorana, Please take this. This is a flower. Arana, Arana King, and the others also gave us flowers. Sure, it seems that this custom has not changed after all these years. I'm glad. In the past, Araja, Araji, Arapakati, and I, we all gave flowers to Naravaruna. To she is a friend we cherish beyond measure. This type of flower is a symbol of our Narana friendship. Those who take this flower accept Anorana friendship. We, our Anorana, are not good with words, so it is a point of pride for them that their human friends are willing to accept their flowers. And having heard many stories of Nara Ignus, I believe that to me you are also a cherished friend. It would just be a great honor for me if you would accept my flower. Thank you. You are too kind. We will surely meet again. The next time we meet, Nara Ignus, Paimon, I hope you will come to my house. Hmm? And where is your house? It disappeared. What a strange, Anorana. Come on, let's go check the others. This seems to be the first one that actually remembers everything that has happened. Nara, Arakanta has heard so much of you, about you. You are a good Nara. Will you play with Arakanta? Arakanta's game is simple and fun. Listen to the rules, Nara. Arakanta will summon a lot of dangerous particles, which are our Nara hiding in the circle. Nara is a big and powerful Rishbolan tiger. Come and chase our Nara. If the Rishbolan tiger gets all the Arnara in a short time, then Nara wins. Good. Now we need to play game with uh, Kanta now. Yeah, sure. Sure. Hurry, right, let's start. You should pull on time your reward. Uh, where was that guy again? So much fun. Arakanta is very happy playing games with Inara. Inara is so fast, so amazing. Like a real tiger. Uh, it is fun playing with other Aranara and real Rishbola tigers. But playing with our new friend, our now friend, is even more fun. Why would the rich Bolan tiger chase our Nara? The rich Bolan tiger and our Nara are friends, and friends play together. But our account noticed that Nara are afraid of the rich Bolan tiger. That's why our account came up with a new game for fish ball. What's up? Thank you, Nara. Here's an our Nara flower for Golden Nara. Okay, now those guys. Yeah. 
This is that guy's house. Oh yeah, no other housing should be so high up. But he did say to come visit him later. I don't think it would be now. We're back, Harapas, this is the best water. Terrific, I can make the best soup so long as I have the best water. The Magnus will love it for sure. You know, since they are now are making food for us so eagerly during this happy occasion, we should return the favor. What do you say? Maybe they will like some radish veggie soup. Let's show them what Nara cooking is all about. Give a bowl of delicious bread. Delicious? Sure, Arpacati. Oh, that's our peeping hot radish veggie soup ready to go. The Aranara should be done with their dishes too. Okay, got the meat here. Yeah, you still have to ask things for help, or we'll end up cooking the same dishes as before. Personally, improving methods from Paimo and Nar, blah blah blah. How's the taste true of true blue women Nar food? Huh? Oh, why was Arpkat's suggestion for Nar English to teach my brothers? Nar dishes is this one Nar called the taste of happiness. Happiness is flinched from me. Panorama's water is obviously the best water. So, how did something like this get made up? Made from the... No rubber fresh fruits? Too delicious though. Uh, you and Nara think it's awful? I thought it was pretty yummy though. I have no idea how awful it's supposed to taste, but the flavor of this dish has impact, you know? Like the kind you get from running full speed into a tree. No, this has to be a massive cause, case of Culture clash. Uh, still, it's rude to say that, my brothers. You should be thinking our English instead. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry, say thank you. Thank you, Nara English. But it's okay as long as Nara English and Paimon enjoy the food. Don't mind them. If our Nara friends are happy, we are happy. That said, Nara English is totally different from but Nara Vermonda. Who told us a lot of things about brothers. But now it is very quiet. Are you feeling unwell? Uh, say something. Uh, thanks for concern. Is that so? I'm glad. Once again, thank you. The spells are from Arpakasia and her brothers. They are for you, Narinus and Paimon. We hope that two of you will enjoy more of the taste of happiness here in Vanorana. <laughs> Uh, uh, no. And this one. <coughs> hey, it's the golden hour. Perfect timing. My name is Zeus. Gold is a wonderful color. The same as sunshine. That's what I like to call you on this important occasion. Regardless, your name shall be recorded in our songs. Uranus is a good name, very lyrical. Hmm. Your voice, your voice was eyes and so are as golden as the sun. Thy name is not Uranus. Hey, what about Paimon? Don't forget Paimon now. The pearl in moonlight, pure as silver. Thy name is Paimon. Yeah, Spymo wants to hear more. Maybe something that launches our friendship too. Uh, wait for more. Gold and silver, the colors of the sun and moon, are the reflection of their friendship. Not bad, adding a few lines for 
praising Paimon's wisdom would be nice too. Don't wait for more. The paths of stars uh, of flowing water are all are all an open Aranyaka to the silver one. The riddle is the moonlight's bait. The wisdom is the pearl's glimmer. Very poetic, you know. <laughs> Paimon's also very brave, so get Paimon's drift. Wait for more. Swelling like a specter, surging ahead like a boar. Hey, who are calling a specter? What a let down. There are eagles, Paimon. Uh, you're here. Everybody's having a great time at this festival. Uh, it's always nice to have someone to help out and play with, right? That's right. No, not in that way. We're happy because we're, we've made friends with our eagles in Paimon. Although Arana King, Aranaga, and Aragaru don't remember you, the forest does. The story will live on. Yeah, the singing of the Nara friend, of Nara friend with Aranara is the most important part of the festival in the story. Song gatherers, are you ready? Hmm. From the first cry after birth, this is the moment you've been preparing for. Stupid Arayaza, only baby Nara are born. Only baby Nara are born and will cry. Uh, we're ready. And so is the ancient stage where it will take place. Uh, it was Aramuhukunda before me, and there will be other song gatherers after me that make you grow. It's been waiting for a long time to hear the duet between Nara and Aranara again. I'm very much looking forward to it as well. Are you ready, Nara Ignis? According to how it was done before, you should be playing instruments too, right? I'm okay wait for your performance. I'm ready. Don't worry, just use the instrument you used to and play at your own pace. Well then, Golden Nara, we shall sing together. Please take the lead. Go. So just. You know, I'm supposed to stop here. Same thing. And there are nerds of pairs following the duet. Wow, that was great! In playing, you're playing the Nara song were both awesome. Yeah, Nara is awesome. I love to travel with you and remember your songs. Thanks. A good thing that no upper flower show up. Our Nara are very impressive. Such a radiant melody. How exciting! Nara Ignis and Paimo in your song. What an epic tale! Not calling me Golden Nara anymore. I'm short on experience, but if the stars were true, the glow from Narvaruna's song might have been dimmer than yours. Hmm. Arandasa is right. Please take this as tokens of our appreci appreciation, Narayan Sipamo. Oh, there's a lot of flowers. Even though the horizon is so great, it's such a blessing to meet you. 
singing your song forever is the pact between you and me. Thank you, uh, cherish your gift. Thank you, Nora Eagles and Primal. I guess that fashion itself is coming from our end. And we are one step closer to end the vision. We should ask our Raja what to do next. Hey, where did our Raja and Arama go? Oh, the way, the way after the duet. Uh, thank you, Infrabell. Do not. I do want to tell Narinus that Arazudraka has learned why Narinus injured Vanarana. Your, you, your and Arana's friend will be fine. Uh, also, no matter how dark the sky and land gets, as long as your spirit emits warmth like the golden sun, there will always be hope. Understand? Thank you. No worry, our Zodraka. Ignis has always been like that. You get going now. Farewell. Farewell. Where to now? Last festival of Sawa took place during Narona's time. Uh, and many tales and recollections of Marana was everywhere back then. Trees died and lush plains turned brown. It rained filthy red water. Red, not the lovely red apple. Apple red. Uh, horrifying. I'm glad I don't remember it now. Many children returned to Sarva before they were done growing into Vasara trees. But there was still Narvaruna in Festival Utsawa. Yes, at that time, you must have been a young Aranara sapling like me. Right, I have lost a lot of memories, but still can recall Nara's tears. Salty drops fell from her eyes, but I wasn't afraid. She spoke to me at length about our adventures in the forest, and thus the tales were preserved. And then she left. I wonder where she is now. She was very much like you, Narigus. You too might be Nara, but you are shining like the warm golden sun. Uh, Drifting seeds uh, are destined to flourish on nice soil. Same for Nara. One day, the wind in Nara's heart will stop, uh, halting their steps. But Nara Inus is not like ordinary Nara. Nara Inus will keep traveling, or will perha perhaps run into Nara Varuna someday. Yes, but you forget, forgot, Arama, that Nara are not Ara Nara. Their time is short. Nara Varuna couldn't live as long as trees nor share dreams and memories as we do. How lonely and lamentable the Nara are. Right, if only Nara Ignus were an Nara, if so, we wouldn't know, we would have known each other from way before and shared so many memories. The forest will remember, I'll bring all of Nara's memory to meet uh, Rama Hukuku. A Ramu Hukonda in Sarva, like rivers converging into the sea. A very long time ago, Panarana was destroyed in, in the Nara catastrophe. Since then, Anarana made dreams their home and distanced themselves from Nara. Only Narvaruna has always been friends with Aranara and continued helping everyone after the destruction. Only then did Aranara trust Nara again, little by little. When we parted, she told me that maybe one day another golden Nara would come to us and he would bring us even better memories. I think that with you and Nara Inus, perhaps it's time for us to walk, sing and play with Nara in the forest once again. But everyone trusts Nara Inus and family because they are generally good. Good, and it wouldn't be a problem if all Nara are nice like Nara Ignus and Nara Varuna. You sound like an old Nara, Araja. Uh, 
I'm very happy to have the festival and give the flowers to the Golden Hour, but I'm also reminded of a lot of other things. Arama, Araja, what are you doing here? Don't tell Paimon you ran away because you didn't like how Ignus played. No, Narigno's performance was a bright ray of sunshine. It felt very, very good. But the Bija is crucial to Arana's and Narad Ignus' wish, so we should get ready. Oh yeah, the Bija... Right. I went looking for the fame of Ashivata right after the song ended. That song is like... It has something to do with the concourses we visited before. Paimon is as bright as moonlight. That's where Ashvata's trees and of dreams is. Uh, it's an ancient sturdy bazaar tree that's able to produce pigeon. However, I don't remember the location, nor am I able to live on Arana's dream, so it's all up to Arama to find it. Worry not, I uh, like Nara Ignis and Pam would say, I got this. You got this. No, Araja, what do you mean you can't leave? I've been limited to moving only in Vanarana dreams since a long, long time ago. A tree of dreams is required to anchor a dream this big, and I became that tree so everyone would have a home. How can this be? What's the matter, Pablo? It's a good thing for me to house so many big dreams and be with everyone. Yeah, I want to be a great owner like a Raja when I grow up. Posting many dreams like a dream with many leaves. Mm. We met a not our ones. Who is he talking about? Yes, it said that Bija is yielded from the extraction uh, of. Okay, not once, but just a while ago. The extraction of memories and dreams. Is that true? Can Anara, Anara lose their memory? That's probably the case, but I can no longer recall it. Mm, so what should we do now? We got a lot of flowers during the festival, right? Naragnus and Paimon. Not just during the festival, we got some from Aranakin, Aragaru and Aranaga too. Paimon wishes they could remember all the adventures we had together. No worry, no memories will be lost. The force will remember, just like the rivers emptying the sea before being turned into the rain splashing down onto the earth. Give me all the flowers, Naragnus and Paimon. Okay. They are mementos of Arnara's friendship and are precious to us. What do you need them for, Arama? I put in my flowers and theirs together. Please put it away, Arama. You hand Arama all the flowers. Arama waves a garland of flowers, including its own, blah blah blah. Oh. We should be able to equip that, the Fatui mask, the Akasha. This is. Uh, it's so pretty. It looks great on you, Narigus. And this garden represents the blessings that we are Nara, as well as all the all the Vanarana, want to bestow upon your fav our favorite Nara. Unlike your, your Nara, we are Nara can communicate in our dreams. Any sadness can be shared among all our Nara, uh, our Nara and softened by its blow, to soften its blow. And we can share our joys as well. When Nara is wears the garland, we'll be able to share the load on your mind. And we can protect you when you have nightmares. Thank you. You should be I should be thanking you, Nara Ignus, for accepting our flowers. That gives us greater joy than soaking in the sun, drinking sweet water and dreaming nice things. Emma wants a garland too. I doubt that's necessary. Why not? Nara Ignis will be facing many great dangers and experiencing great sadness. We can ward off some of his nightmares through the garland. On the other hand, Nara Ignis will protect Paimon from nightmares. We will always be together and we will share both joy and happiness and sorrow. That's right, we are the best of friends after all. 
So what should we do now? We're going to offer the Vazoma fruit at the fane of Ashvata. Then we can produce the Bija with Arana. I have studied Yunara before. Unlike Aranara, you have to sleep when the moon is up. And you come out only after sun has risen. Would you like to sleep during the time of moon? Not to mention it, Paimon is pretty blessed from all the fun today. You can rest in my house if you like. Varanara will guard your dreams. I'll take the offer if you're really tired. Yeah. You can get some rest. I want to stay and remain in a little. Actually, I've been waiting to ask you something. Why not sleep? This brings us comfort. I see. Arnar hibernate only when a great rain danger is present. We turn into tiny seeds and go into dreamless, dreamless slumbers. But we will be isolated from others. And that's rather scary. Not to mention having to accumulate a lot of memories to change back into our previous forms. But you Nara are different, you must sleep often, and that's the only way you can dream. Dreams are precious, so I understand, but it is strange you have very few, you have had very few dreams lately, big Nara. Regardless, you can sleep here without worries, we will guard your dreams and stop bad things like Vanagni from getting in. That sounds good, but... Uh, you, in uh, your mentions of dreams, but almost feels like meeting you and spending a festival with you when just so be a dream Paimon had after eating those mushrooms. And all that, and that all, this will vanish once Paimon wakes up. Uh, will we still see you when we wake up? Of course. See you tomorrow, Roma. Farewell. You found some deep sleep. Why do we need so much dialogue? They talk, 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 and half of it is not important. Yeah. Roma. Oh, we're no longer in the drink, are we? Arama, they're in the spinal, you seem fresh, uh, like fresh second peaches, but Paimon looks unhappy, do you have a nightmare? Paimon was afraid you went on us. Why would you think that? I've been here the whole time. Uh, what's wrong, Paimon? Because Vanarana is in a dream, and the fun we had at Festival Summer was like a dream. Paimon was afraid that everything would all go away once we woke up. We'd be all that's left, just like when we first started the journey. <coughs> but the things that happen in the dream are real, in dreams are real. I have observed Nara before and found that nightmares would make them timid. And that nice dreams would make them happy, just like things that happen outside their dreams. So when Paimon dreamed of meeting us, and also dreamed of meeting Vanarana, Paimon it was as real as doing both in reality. And Arama is here too, and we still have to help Rana. 
Yes, we have to help. We have to go to the Fane of Vata to get the Bija and to make Narana feel better. That's true. Uh, Ignus, you must have put weird mushrooms in the fish to make Plymouth think about such stuff. Let's go then. Why take so long for it? Time to go. Wonderful, this place isn't corroded by Marana like Arayama and the others were. Uh, Narayimus Paimon, this is the Ashivata tree. Oh, that's a weird looking tree. That's rude, Paimon. You make the Ashivata tree mad. This is a very, very mighty tree. The oldest was our tree there is, even older than any Aranara in their stories. Queen Aranyani sang here thousands of moons ago. Or perhaps even more. She had just left Valuka at the time. And the woods weren't as lush as now. So there was still lots of sand on the ground. Her Arakalari was more powerful than any Aranaras. Since her song was the closest to the source song, the Ashvata responded to her call and sprouted from Sarva. Queen Aranyani told Ashvata that there were many smart, beautiful, yet lonely Nara in the woods, and that the children of the forest must increase so that they might become friends with the Nara. Therefore, Ashvata produced a beautiful and full pomegranate with many seeds inside, the first of which to sprout was Aramuhukunda. That made Aramuhukuna the very first Aranara. Later, all the seeds grew and Aranara spread like leaves on a tree. We and Nara were both people of the forest. That's why the Ashvata tree is a very powerful and very important. Uh, just like Nara bear Nara children, all Aranara are progeny of the Ashvata and Queen Aranyani. So that's how it is. Sorry, Arama. The Ashvata tree is super impressive. Uh, how rude of you, Paimon, calling someone's mother weird like that. Paimon didn't mean to. Anyway, what do we need to do now to get the beach? Right, just like trees need earth and rain to flourish, dreams and memories are what the Avazara tree needs. As I mentioned a moment ago, the Ashvata tree is the oldest of the Avazara trees. That's why we brought three Vasama fruits from Araj, Arayama, and Aramaha as offerings for the Ashvata tree to bear great fruits. Araj, Arayama, and Aramaha's Vasama fruits. Don't you mean the fruits of the Vasar trees? That's what they are, yes. Stand closer to the Ashvata tree, Narayimus. I thought the flowers would be used for that. Whoa, that's amazing. Yes, our Nara are descendants of this tree. You, if you are now connected to our Nara and you bear their blessing, so the Ashvata tree shall bless you too. For as long as you wear this garland, the Ashvata tree will recognize you as the child of the forest. Hmm, something's wrong with the Ashvata tree. It feels a bit weak. This must be because of the Marana that's been showing up everywhere lately. Regardless, we're going into the Ashvata tree's dream next. And we will offer the Vasama fruit to the Tree of Dreams. That should rejuvenate it. So we're doing like 
this like we did back in the Yeshivatis concourses, right? Beginners will reach out and whoosh, will be in a dream. Yes, very smart, Primo. So, if you're ready, Nara Ignus, reach out your hands, reach your hand out, and let's enter the Ashvat Tree stream. No problem. Or I just mentioned my well, no. But I wonder what we'll see in this stream. Oh, well, it's fine. We've got Ignus around, after all. Reach out. How did this... Why would the withering be in the Ashwata tree stream? Regardless, we got to get rid of the withering as soon as possible. Stabilize! As one with wind and cloud. This is order. Keep up. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> see all of those because yeah. of the wolves. Let's go so check, blah blah blah. Finally, here we are. Uh, and here are we are here. Pamela remembers that we could see this mysterious tree in the other bazaar tree stream as well. I'm sorry, Nara Ings and Pamela. It escaped me that Marana has also corroded the Ashvata tree stream. Countless black pests are corroding the roots of the Tree of Dreams in Sarva. I can feel the Marana's hands shaking the dream to its core. Sorry, I should have known this would be the case when we saw Marana in Ashwat's concourses before. It's okay, we fixed this easily with Higgins around, didn't we? Then the Bija. Um, when the Evazama fruits should at least restore some of it, his power. I'm counting on you, Nara Ignus. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand. I didn't think it would be so soon, but I'm aware that I'll know what to do when the time comes. Just like the clouds know what time they must release rain, and the rain knows that it must fall to the ground, since know that they must grow into big trees and bear lots of plump fruits. Uh, sounds weird about Rama. Oh, I was just speaking to the Tree of Dreams, so you can't hear it. Uh, Primal sees Arana came talking to mushrooms before, but people can normally communicate with plants, you know? I see, I just learned something new. Thank you, Paimon. 
Don't worry about the vision, there is in Paimon. Let's just leave the dream for now. Come on, this quest is still not over. The heart of the Ashvati tree is glowing. Is that vision? It hasn't been easy, but Rana can finally be healed. Mm -hmm. mm. Arama? Ashvati tree has been corrupted by Marana and cannot bear any bisha. I had to plant a new Ashvati tree in order to help you. Oh. All those quests, but it won't. Well, it will require a long time to grow from a seed to a tree. Don't worry, the speed of Avazar tree's grow has to do with, has to do with its seed. That's what the tree has given me all its power. And with the Vazoma fruits and our shared memories, it will be fine. Thank you. The first Ashvata tree. Thank you, Araj, Arayama, and Aramaha. I will utilize your memories and rebuild the path between the new Ashvata tree in the dreams. Do you get the feeling that our Mars is different now? Am I? I learned a lot of new things. I figured out lots of new words and I'm taking a lot of memories. No rest sure I'm still me, your friend. I will help you help you for sure. I believe in you, what do we do now? Uh oh Vanarana is still deep within the fane of Ashivata. And that's where we'll find Marana's avatar. Uh -huh. Now we imbue the lane and serve up with Viper Venom. It will imbue. Uh, until everything green turns brown, every flower has withered, every brook is puttered, and every creature is dead. We must destroy it. Only then can a tree strong enough to produce the bishop grow. Let's see who's over there. Okay, I'm stopping here. <laughs> Part 3 started now. Ah, that's this area that I couldn't reach before. Uh, yeah, I'm stopping here. Uh, let's stop here and continue some other day. Uh, it's quite possible that I'll end up doing the event before continue with this quest. Damn, this quest is too long. But at least now it's not separated in several quests, so I think this... Chapter 3? Act 3? Part 3. I think part 3 will be faster than part 2. Oh yes. <sighs> 